Replay viewers, let's see who tunes on in. Mjerna Bergen up there in Canada, first one in the room, and the ABX girl, welcome. Good to see you, Chilladean, and Donna Knight, welcome. Good to see you, Rouge Jones and Brian Bell, welcome. Good to see you, Dave Jeffries up there in Niagara Falls, and JC Droid, welcome. Good to see you, Coconut Telegraph, and Debbie Bruce Scher, welcome. Good to see you, Ramona and Mark Friedman, welcome. Good to see you, Dwayne, welcome, and Liz, and, Al and Aloha, Liz, Aloha, Liz. Good to see you, Land Rover, welcome. <laughs> and good to see you, Diana Lee, welcome. Good to see you, Robert D. and Arjan, welcome. Good to see you there, Jack Spencer. We got to have another amazing journey today. I see Debs out there in London and Jay Chulo, welcome. Good to see you, Tom in Vermont and CB Earth Day, welcome. Good to see you, Mr. Gladstone, and good to see you, Robin, welcome. Good to see you, Sally Sipico and Darlene. Welcome. Good to see you, Girl in the Curl. Welcome. Good to see you, Phyllis. Welcome to Van Cortland Park in the Bronx. Good to see you. They're really home of the Van Cortland Rangers. There you go. Brian Davis, good to see everybody. JC Droid, a lot of pollen out here, JC. I may be coughing. I drink a gallon of soda, but that might not be enough. <laughs> good to see you, Edison Zhao. Welcome. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, we are on a mission. We are on a mission. Good to see everybody. Welcome to Van Cortland Park. We're next to the last stop of the number one train. And this is something I have been dying to show you guys. And it's gonna be a really, really fun. We're gonna get some great views of the city, never seen before, even on other live streams. So get ready because today is gonna be a good one. Good to see you, Mary Lily from Eastern North Carolina. Gorgeous day to learn some facts. Absolutely. John Coppola, welcome. John Lore, welcome. <laughs> and there's the pollen, people. There's the pollen. Ah, good to see everybody, people. Came to the number two and the number one trains up here. Number one train, last stop. Arjan, please feel better out there in the hospital. Limpy entertain you for a little bit. Mirna Bergen, winner of the latency lottery, coming up by CB Earth Day. Thank you so much, guys. Waiting for you. To, oh my God, Robin, this is gonna be a good one, Robin. Robin, this is gonna be a good one. Luis uh, Torres, web up Puerto Rico, buenvenidos. All right, we got 84 people, and it's not even five minutes. Let's get moving here. Let's get cooking. Sebastian Escavera, welcome, and RJ is watching Colorado. Welcome. All right, guys, we gotta do this. I have been dying to show you guys this and it's so important that I show you show you this right we we do have two devices today so I'm walking around with two phones like I'm a tourist all right first thing what am I gonna do here I'm gonna walk yay around this whole pathway here let's see I'm gonna do that and that okay let's do it oh my god Leela it's gonna be amazing all right the Warriors this is yeah this is where the Warriors start out their adventure up here in Van Cortland Park. I don't think it was actually filmed up here though. <laughs> I always forget the exact park they use. Or maybe it is that scene. Let's see if we come upon it. <laughs> Let's see if we come upon it. We're gonna do a big loop of Van Cortland Park right now. We're here way uptown, 243rd Street. <clears throat> Had to take the BX9 because the train is only making it so far before ending its run. Last time I came up here, I went to a, another place that I'm gonna live stream in the very near future. I don't feel like climbing that cliff over there uh, today. So maybe having to do a separate live stream uh, for that. But there's another spot I wanna live stream from that's technically not that far away from here. Sandra Ann, welcome. Good to see everybody, people. And Darlene, thank you so much for being a member of Dutch Moms Plus. And come on, thank you and all the channel members. Thanks to the channel members, this broadcast is brought to us in lovely 1080. And that is thanks to all of you guys. Mirren is cel celebrating 16 months. 
of membership to Dutch Moss Plus. Thank you so much, guys. It is warm as hell out here. It is warm as all heck out here today. Oh my God. Van Cortland Park. I believe it's the largest park. Let's get the rundown here. No, Pelham Bay Park is the largest park. So this is the third largest park in New York City. But it's some really, really nice views out here. It is, we are well into summer. It feels like already. <clears throat> Good to see you, Jerry. Yeah, 79 degrees already. Today was a two season day for myself. Woke up, it was like spring in the 50s. Now it's in the, now it's approaching 80 degrees. And Darlene with a $20 super chat. Darlene, thank you so much for the very generous $20 super chat. Thank you so much for joining today's $5 club four times today. Much, much, much appreciated, Darlene. That is very generous of you. Thanks for buying my lunch and subway fare up here. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, Darlene, with the big. $20 super chat. Good to see you there, Michelle King. Welcome. Old stomping ground. This is my first time really exploring this place. I've always wanted to, to see this spot. And this is my literally my, my first time really walking in here. I've been to the perimeter of this place, but never in it. I've always ridden bikes around here, but never, never actually through the park. Good to see you there, Paul. Your grandparents are in Woodland Cemetery next door to Van Cortland Park. Wow, so your parents, grandparents, not that far from here. Ah, you're more than welcome, Robin. Look at this view. <laughs> New York City, everyone. New York City. And now what is this? Is this the... Uh, this is this house has some kind of significance here. I don't know why the flags are at half mast. Actually, don't know. Maybe oh, this is the Van Cortland house. Oh, yeah. The guy who owned the property around here. And oh no, is that it for my screen? It is it for my screen. All right, my screen's gonna go as extra dim. So if I miss a comment, sorry about that. But the street, my screen has officially dimmed because it's so warm out here. But the Van Cortland house right here. Let's read that info sign. Let's read this info sign here. I'm going to totally be a tourist today. I'm going to totally be a tourist. Here in the Bronx today. Here in the Bronx, New York. Let's see. Built out of the uh, native field stone in the vernacular English Georgian, Georgian style in 1748, the Van Cortland House is the oldest surviving building in the borough of the Bronx. The Van Cortland House was the centerpiece of a large uh, provisioning plantation established in 1691 by Jacob Van Cortland. The plantation was built and improved upon by enslaved people for five generations of the Van Cortland family. And they, they lived here throughout the 1880s. Interesting. The museum was opened to the public in 1897 by the National Society of Colonial Doms in the state of New York. I wonder if this is the original fencing. If this, this, this looks like a yeah, cool fencing, right? Good to see you there, everybody. Wow. And this isn't the thing I want to show you guys. <laughs> this is not the thing I want to show you guys. This is a statue of Josiah Porter. Uh, General Josiah Porter uh, is, a repu is reputed to have been the first Harvard College graduate to enlist in the Union Army. Wow. That's some, that's some cool history there. Feel free to pause the video. You know, John, you know what this is? <laughs> John, you know what this is today? I'm gonna tell you what this is today, John. 
You know, there is a show in Japan and it's called Somewhere Street. And any proper walking live streamers, they should watch this show. And it's a show that I believe it came on in like the early 2000s, like 2005 or something like that. And it's literally just like this. I'm narrating to you guys at home and we're just gonna walk down <laughs> and I'm gonna read signs and maybe we'll run into a new friend or two. And um, so this is an excellent episode of Sun Somewhere Street. On, so <laughs> look at it, we're barely into the park and I'm already like, like a little like I'm a tour I'm gonna totally be a tourist today. <laughs> oh there we go. The flags are at half mass because of the shooting in uh, Texas. It's tragic. Tragic, tragic, tragic. Hello there, Stefan. Hope everyone's having a great day. Arjan, I'm having a great day. Please feel better up there in the hospital. If you are not feeling well, going through some health issues, speed recovery to you as well. To everybody who's watching. Let me entertain you for a few hours. Let me be a bit of a distraction from the everyday. Good to see you, Catherine. Yeah, Catherine, it's hot. Catherine, it's hot. It's hot. It's so hot my screen dimmed already. My phone officially does not like me. <laughs> so if I miss a comment, sorry guys, my phone is like stupid dim. So I could, uh, I can't, I could barely see comments. Let alone all my signal indicators. It's Miguel. Good to see you, Miguel. Welcome. Great pictures indeed. Yeah, no, if my, my phone, my battery, I know, is, is getting a little bit worn on my, uh, on my phone here. And uh, I may have to replace my battery. But in, in that case, I'll just replace my phone and get a new phone, so. And here it is, we're in Cortland Park. One of the largest parks the third largest park in all of New York City. And uh, that is, you know, it's funny, the Van Cortland house is not the thing I want to show you guys. That is not the thing I want to show you guys. <laughs> uh, I want to get to this lookout hill, which is going to be off in this direction here. And evidently we could see the view of Manhattan from there kind of framed with trees. So there's a lot of grass, a whole bunch of athletic fields. Okay, let's see, did my phone update yet? There we go. Okay. So I am, this is a first for the Dutch Miles Family Network here. I mean, I'm using a phone here too, my second phone to, to guide me here. Using a second device here. Now there has been a couple of other live streams filmed here i scoured the youtubes to see if anyone's done uh any kind of video over here and there are a few live streams that were done here there's actually a couple of great uh pre-recorded videos that have been made about the subject i'm going to be talking about in a little bit so but nobody on live stream has ever shown this so if you watch other live streams, I could guarantee you, you have not seen this. This is a first. Good to see you, Timbo. Welcome. Just got to walk around this whole massive, like, patch of grass lawn here. This is amazing. Oh, ladies and gentlemen, let me be outside for you. You're outside with me right now, walking in this warm sunshine oh absolutely gorgeous absolutely freaking gorgeous good to see you emma zambrano welcome good to see you uh reza jafari welcome if i miss your comment sorry about that yeah no john lord it, it, i'm 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 discovering this for the first time with all of you guys this is the magic of a live stream right now this is the magic of a live stream to explore together. So 
If you're just tuning in, don't tune out. You don't want to miss this. This is something that nobody else has shown. And this bit of history, it's weird, it's interesting. It's just very, very interesting stuff. Okay, so I see where I'm going here. So uh, who was it? Was it a... Uh, who mentioned the... Who mentioned the Lloyd's carrot cake? Who mentioned that? <laughs> Somebody at the very, very beginning of the show. I, I, and, I'm, and I'm intrigued. Have, do, have you had some Lloyd's carrot cake? Should I take some home after the stream? Let me know. <laughs> Bloody hell, this is so nice up here. Yeah, I'm going to almost spend the day walking up here. <laughs> I'm going to spend almost a whole day walking up here. It's just hard to imagine that. Ladies and gentlemen, this is New York City. <laughs> I, I'm literally just off of Broadway. I took Broadway most of the way up here. It may not make it way. Okay, ABX girl. Yeah, it may not make it Am I just going to eat it along the way? I got to give my wife a piece. I always feel bad whenever I eat the last cookie. I always want my wife to eat the last cookie, but. So in other words, ABX girl, go, go to Lloyd's Carrot Cake and bring home some carrot cake. <laughs> Bloody hell, Activity 79, good to see you up there in Sweden. Freaking beautiful day. Yes, this is Butterknife, we're in the borough of the Bronx. The Bronx became part of the five bird. Just had a little bit of a signal drop, but we're back. Just had a bit of a signal drop, but we're back. Make sure you hit the refresh button there. Good to see you there. Uh, Ken Jun celebrating two buns at Dutch Mod Plus. And Timbo asks, do they play cricket here in New York? Yes, they do, actually. There's quite a lot of Indians, uh, f folks from India, who, uh, well, I, and, also, and also the Caribbean who love playing cricket. Noble Sweetness, good to see you. Good to see you. Nebul Buenvenu. That should play a lot of cricket right here in Van Cortland Park. Van Cortland Park's a spot where people like to play cricket. I can see the Van Cortland house way over there. We've come all around. You have to get Lloyd's, Robin, okay. <laughs> I have a feeling I'm gonna have to get some Lloyd's and bring it home. I'll bring my wife a delicacy. A, a sweet delicacy from the Bronx. And by the way, I am a long way from home. Um, it's amazing that I'm still within the five boroughs of New York City and I'm almost like, I think I'm t almost 20 miles from my house in Seagate, Brooklyn. So, I'm a long ways away. There you go, the Wanderers New York Cricket Club is in Van Cortland Park. There you go. So if you wanna catch some cricket action, Come up here to Van Cortland Park. Look at this view here. This is insane. This view here is incredible. On a bike around Van Cortland Park, never in it. My first time actually in the park. Yes, Jay, I'm far from my house right now. I'm very far from my house. Oh, I'm coming to the uh, to the fork in the road here. Ladies and gentlemen, so it's start getting exciting now. This is time for me to enter this area. We're going into the woods now. And no doubt I'm going to get some exercise walking up uh, a hill coming up here. Yeah, I'm about 10 minute drive from Westchester. Yeah, I'm not that far. I'm in the very northern part of, of uh, the city. Wow. Yeah, we're in the boonies. <laughs> we're just in the Bronx. Oh, absolutely, uh, Brian, yeah. Even though I gotta say, the neighborhood around here is pretty chill. I was just having lunch in the uh, 
in the Burger King across the street. And it was like super chill in there. It was like nobody in there, which was really nice. But the neighborhood's like super chill. Okay, now do I take this right here? I think I take this right here, right? Or do they keep on going? Far from the Bronx, the Bronx Zoo. But it's kind of like on the other side of the Bronx from here. Ah, you know what? The shade here feels good. Oh, this must be the golf course. Ooh, what do we have here? Ooh, there's lots of wildlife rustling about. And I have a mosquito flying in front of me. All right. Yeah, this is the golf course. Yes, yeah, the third largest park, Nibble. Third largest park in New York City. Van Cortlandt Park. Here's the rundown by acreage. Where is it, Mrs. Babbage? Thank you so much, Mrs. Babbage. So the Greenbelt in Staten Island's second largest and Van Cortlandt Park at 1146 acres. And I have just, I have definitely attracted the mosquitoes. I think I'm hanging the, I'm hanging the, the left here. Yes, hanging the left. Yeah, I have gathered the mosquitoes. There's very little wind out here. So everything's kind of flying along with me. All right, we're gonna go straight here. Oh yeah, see, I knew I was gonna go up a hill. Mmm, tastes like a Bronx mosquito or fly. Shit, I should have worn my boots. Yeah, follow the bikes. Exactly, John, it's protein. Knew I was gonna get exercise doing this. It's relatively easy to get here. You take the one train to the last stop up here in the Bronx. It took me about 45 minutes to get here from lower Manhattan. I gotta watch out for the bears. Absolutely. All right. Let's see. Where are we now? We keep on going. We keep on going. Oh, this is the Vault Hill. We just keep on going. Just keep on going up. Let's see here. Holy crap. <laughs> I knew. Oh, what do we have there? It's a bunch of birds in there. Good to see you, Robojacks. Up there in London. Oh, this is a this is technical here. Getting a little technical. Shit, which way do I go? Let's go this way. Yeah, no country time lemonade out here. Maybe when I finish the tour. All right. Let's see. This is going to be a doozy to get down. <laughs> oh. All right. Oh, we're here. <sighs> Holy crap. Whoa. Whew. Oh, Lord have mercy. This is cool. Oh, my God. Look at this, guys. Woo. Oh, that was good. Wow. What a freaking view from here. 
Holy shit. Wow. Holy shit. Oh, yeah. There we go. All right. Wow. Let's take this in. As we can see, literally all the way downtown from here, See if we get the angle just right for you guys at home. There we go. Wow. Let's look at it. Let's zoom in. Way down, off in the distance, you can see some of the towers of uh, of Billionaires Row. Oh, there's the Empire State Building. There's the Empire State Building. We're looking from the north towards the south. That hazy sky there. But there's your Empire State Building. And then the borough of the Bronx in the foreground. Whew. Wow, it's a bit hazy, yeah. I think we have some of the haze from the wildfires that are happening out west, so. It's far, Brian, we're far, man. We've traveled a quite a long way here today. Good to see you there, Fish Paws. Good to see everybody, people. Make sure you hit that thumbs up. Let's me know you care. It'll help more people find this nonsensical broadcast. Wow, that's freaking amazing. Summer in the city, yeah. Look how far up we are though. Holy crap. And you can see Manhattan way down there. Unbelievable. And this is called, uh, if you're following on a map, we're now kind of in the center of the park. We're at the Vault Overlook. So the Vault Hill is right down over there. And uh, we're, in the, we're, we're just next to that. Good to see you there, everybody. Wow. This is incredible, wow. Now, there's another scenic rock outcropping that we're gonna go to now next, and then we make our way back. So let's go to the second scenic overlook. Let's get back to the, um, to the hiking here. Let me adjust my, all my wires here. I have a, quite a lot of wires. I have two, two devices today. Because we're gonna, we're gonna do some climbing now. Okay, let's get to the other scenic overlook here. And then we'll make our way to our crescendo of the, of the tour today. This is freaking amazing, holy shit. This is really cool. All right. By the way, this is, this is Manhattan Schist right here. Do they call it Bronx Schist because it's in the Bronx? Let me know. Wow, it's like a... I like, uh, I like how uh, this drops off here. I really don't know where to go. Look at how <laughs> it really drops off. Holy shit. <laughs> wow. Okay, we gotta come. We gotta go down the way we came up. Oh, this would be a nice spot to like hang out. Yeah, ankle danger. Yeah, I gotta be super, super careful doing this. Where's that entrance? Where is this? Right over here. This is incredible, incredible. Oh, and I see, I'm just gonna take this pathway here. I wonder where this pathway will lead me. This pathway, I don't think it's on the map. So I think I'm just gonna take it because that's roughly in the direction I need to go. So let me, uh, let's confer here with the map. Okay, so let's just take this a little bit here. Let's just take this a little bit here and see where we end up. Something tells me this is not going to be a, a climb like we just had before. Yeah, Zek, Zeklokov, yeah. Yeah, no, I need to do the green belt. I want to do the green belt, and I also want to do, like, the Tottenville area. Because I am determined, you know, we had turkeys on the live stream. 
I want to get deer on the live stream. And I know that deer are increasing, increasingly becoming a problem in Staten Island. So I would love to see the deer. Oh yeah, here's the main path right here. Oh, that was, that's good. Oh, I didn't need to climb up that thing. Okay. I didn't need to climb up the thing, but I did. All right, we're gonna hang the, the uh, left here. I'm gonna follow this main pathway around. Coming up next is Scenic Rock Outcropping. And I also wanna check out that uh, bit of Robert Moses Highway that was like never used. Or did they turn it into an on-ramp already? <laughs> okay. Now, nobody else is around. There's literally one guy sitting over at Vault at the Vault Hill. I wanted to show you that landmark there, but there was a guy sitting right next to it. Didn't want to bother him. But for the most part, there's nobody around here. And have, I hope you, have a hope you had a great birthday, Colleen. Right, it's a Robert Moses Highway still wilderness. <laughs> oh, this is so much fun. Good to see you, Sarah and Dan. Welcome on into the show. Welcome to Van Cortland Park. Yeah, I know, I need to go see the eagles. Ladies and gentlemen, they are nesting American bald eagles in Staten Island, mostly along the South Shore, near the Conference House and Hoffman and Swinburne Islands, just off the coast of the South Shore, Staten Island. You heard me right, American bald eagles. And bloody hell, wow. Wow, Phyllis, you didn't have to do that because I'm in the middle of the woods. Phyllis! With a $150 super chat. Phyllis, thank you so much for the very generous $150 super chat. Thank you so much for joining the Mega Donors Club today of $150. Much, much, much appreciated. And that's what you get. That's what you deserve. Phyllis, that's what you deserve yelling in the woods in New York City for a big, huge, extremely generous, helping me pay my rent, transformative, $150 super chat. Thank you so much, Phyllis. Phyllis, let me entertain you, please. Let me entertain you. Let me entertain you, Phyllis. Thank you so much for the big $150 super chat. My goodness. Phyllis is way too kind. Everyone think Phyllis throws some there's some hearts up there. All that good stuff, you guys. Are... Oh my goodness. Huge, Phyllis. Thank you so much. That is extremely kind of you. you. Might have scared the wildlife away from me. Good to see you, Danette. So sweet indeed, Jim. Good to see you. We're going to the scenic rock outcropping right now, right? That's what it's called, right? Scenic rock outcropping. And I think we're, we're approaching a highway. What highway is this? I don't even know what road I'm about to pass over. Let me see what road this is. This is 9A. What is 9A around here? The Henry Hudson Parkway, ladies and gentlemen. I'm about to cross over the Henry Hudson Parkway right now. Yeah, I got across to Henry Hudson Parkway here. I could hear it, but I think the park goes over it. Let's see, I hear the Henry Hudson Parkway. I hope I don't have to like cross over it, but I see a, supposedly there's a pathway that goes across it. Or am I going underneath? Oh no, I am going over it. I am going over it. I see a bridge. And then we gotta hang the right. 
Yeah, 9A Manhattan. Broadway in Manhattan. This is, I'm having so much fun right now. This is such an adventure today. This is such a freaking adventure today. I love it. Reminds you of the path in your neck of the woods. Dave, Niagara Falls, beautiful place in the world. Uh, a little bit of a, gotta be a little bit careful here. Got a little bit of loose rock here. So I'm gonna take my time going down this. And then here it is, ladies and gentlemen, the Henry Hudson Parkway. Van Cortland is a trippy spot. Good to see you, Ian. We're going to go to the scenic rock outcropping right now. And then when we come back, we're going to walk down this way right here. And I am not, I have not shown you guys what I want to show you guys. There it is, ladies and gentlemen, the Henry Hudson Parkway. Looks like uh, southbound traffic, uh, a little bit hung up. Wow, it's amazing how like, it looks like we're in the country. Wow, it looks like we're like a million miles away from New York City. Wow. All right, what a shift. And then we go right back into nature. And we're gonna kind of parallel the highway now. This is incredible. Jennifer, good to see you. Hope you're doing great. You're more than welcome. Micah back home. Good to see you. Welcome on into the show. This canopy of trees is nothing short of refreshing. It's nice and cool underneath these trees here. But the tour guide is touring himself today. Welcome to the show. Welcome to Van Cortlandt Park, the third largest park in all of New York City. Good to see you, Danette. Welcome. Yeah, this is the Bronx they never show on TV. That's very true, Robin. I've only seen a handful of live streams from Van Cortlandt Park, and all of them have not shown you, and mind you, some of them walked right past it, uh, what I'm going to show you today. It's a it, very interesting piece of history that is just hanging out here in the park. So we're gonna go see that in a little bit. Oh, this is wild. I'm taking the pathway here to the right. We're going to the scenic rock outcropping right now. It's amazing how we're like right next to the highway. I do have it all to myself, Tom. Good to see you. Yeah, we haven't passed anyone for, for a bit. Girl and curl, I'm loving this too. I'm happy that you're loving this. I am going to show you guys something that has never been shown on a live stream. Yeah, this is somebody's property. This was somebody's property. Is this the scenic rock outcropping? I think this is. Not very scenic. Oh, no, we got a little bit more to go. A little bit more. Oh, no, there it is. It's right there. It's right here. And this is the scenic rock outcropping. Oh, it doesn't have a very... Not very scenic. <laughs> it's right here. This is it, right? Yeah, this is it. Not very scenic, but let's see it. Let's come all the way in here. Let's come all the way in here. And this is it. This is as far as I'm gonna go. Holy shit. Scenic rock outcropping. Yes. Scenic rock outcropping. Wow. Holy crap. This is pretty awesome. Very random. 
And Mary Lily with a ten dollar super chat. Mary Lily, thank you so much for the very generous ten dollar super chat. Thank you. There goes the internet. All right, let's see. Yeah, internet. Internet's a little weird. Right on the edge there. Internet was bouncing around next to the Henry Hudson. Once I get into the shelter, I seem to get today's $5 club two times today. Much appreciated. Much, much, much appreciated. Oh, you're more than welcome, Mary. You're more than welcome. Wow. All right. Well, that was the scenic rock outcropping. Sorry about the signal right there at the edge of the highway. That's where the Mush Mushaloo ex uh, Parkway meets up with the Henry Hudson right there. So maybe the, all the car traffic is affecting the signal. But now what we're gonna do is we are going to, oh yeah, we don't go all the way up there. We now turn around. So now we're gonna turn around, go a little bit back the way we came. I'm gonna make a left-hand turn. So let's do it. Let's start making our way back down. And then when we get closer, I will tell you what we're going to see, which is a pretty interesting, weird, quirky bit of history right here in the Bronx. All right. Ah, Johnny Mocha, good to see you in your neck of the woods. Just moved to Pelham Gardens. That sounds nice. Johnny Mocha, hope you're enjoying your time out there in Pelham Gardens. Good to see you, sir. Welcome on into the show. Just adjusting my pants, ladies and gentlemen. It's a little bit more humid and warm out here than I thought it was. <laughs> Where are the raccoons and the hippopotamuses, right? I don't know. I don't think we're gonna see any hippopotamuses, but raccoons, skunks, and possums, that's we, that we will see. Oh, we got some art. What is this art here that I see? Hello, oh, there's like rats over here. We got big rats or possums next to me here. What is that? It's like a, a little turn. Look at the, that, that, that rabbit just chilling like he's Jack Palance. And the turtle's like, I got this shit. I got this. He's just going, baby. He's just gonna go. He's just gonna go on to the rest of his life, man. He's just living life. Oh yeah. Next to the highway here. Because we... Once again. Oh yeah. Got a little bit of a, uh, there it goes, almost. We're at minimums. All right, yeah, we're at minimums here on the signal all of a sudden. I have a feeling it's it's the signal. It's the, um, it's the highway. The highway is giving us a little bit of grief at the moment with the signal. There it goes. There we go. Speedify is doing its best to keep me modified on my signal. I think we're, yeah, we're going back into the good stuff now. All right, we're coming back. Coming back to full strength here. There we go. You may need to hit the little live button on the bottom of the screen. Make sure there's a little red dot illuminated next to the word live so you are right up to date with the chat and the broadcast. We did drop out for a few moments right there. Monica in Bargiorno, Italy. Stay dry out there. And Jack Spencer with a $5 super chat. Jack Spencer, thank you so much for the very generous $5 super chat. Thank you so much for joining today's $5 club. Much, much, much appreciated. I will be very careful of the poison ivy. Poison ivy. Right, the poison ivy. Gotta be careful of that stuff. But thank you so much, Jack Spencer, for the big $5 super chat. Thanks for supporting the channel. As we continue on, we're going to go back over this bridge now. And we're going to hang the left. Hopefully we maintain signal on this side of the highway.
came down the hill right there. So now we're gonna hang the right. Ah, uh, Diana, there are definitely some squirrels around, but they're all like in the foliage. <laughs> Another one for the CD, right? Yeah. Now, I think all those 30 songs I mentioned from the Brill building, I think that needs to happen. <laughs> I think that needs to happen. The 30 greatest. <laughs> I'm gonna need a proper band to help me play all that. <laughs> yeah, the singing hiker, oh yeah. Good to see you there, Neil from Flatbush. Was Bill Murray fuzzy? Uh, I mean, I got to talk, I mean, I, I hung out, like I wanna say I hung out with him, but I met, I met Bill Murray and talked with him for like 20 minutes and I don't know. His personality is like definitely very boisterous and bubbly, but I don't know about fuzzy. Bill Murray, boy. That's a guy who I would love to have on the live stream. I will give anything to have Bill Murray on the live stream. Ooh, look at this big-ass hill. I'm going to go down this crazy-ass hill here. Wow. This is some... This is some serious hiking here. This is some serious hiking here. If I would have known this, I would have, I would have uh, brought my boots. I will watch out. I will watch out for ticks. Good to see you, Roger. And I will watch out for the poison ivy and all that other stuff. So far, the mosquitoes are having a field day with me. The mosquitoes are having a good day with me. Slowly making my way down this slope here. Kia or less. Hey, can groundhogs be found here? That I, that I wouldn't be, would not be surprised if. Natural growth forest in all of New York City is around here. Van Cortlandt Park, Pelham Bay Park, and also the uh, Bronx Zoo. I should have worn for the morning. So I'm not wearing suntan lotion. Whenever I wear suntan lotion, the, the mosquitoes don't like me, but I am not wearing my suntan lotion. So as I take one off my arm right now, <laughs> yes. And day issues, ladies and even with uh, two cell phone signals going. Still having a bit of connectivity issues, but it looks like now we're coming back into it. Thank you so much for the information, Neil. But yeah, this is a pretty, uh, wow, 130 species of butterflies can be found here. Really? Wow. All right, it looks like we're going back into, we're in good signal strength once again. Having some minor signal issues out here. Not too bad. It is to be expected when you're out here in the woods like this. You're far away from cell phone towers, so. And also the the schist uh, blocks the signal. Uh-oh, I got a fork in the road here. Where do I go? All right, I take the path to the right. Take the path to the right. This is like probably one of the first times I've ever done a walk like this and I'm literally figuring it out on the fly. 
So I don't know what kind of trees these are, but these are some, it's probably some of the oldest trees in all of New York City are around us here. Oh, I can hear them playing playing golf not that far from here. Just off to my left hand side. Good to see you, Vaughn Williams. Welcome. Just yeah, I'm in the Blair Witch Project. Yeah, man. Hey, man. I think we're lost, man. Yeah. Fucking ghost, man. Yeah. Gonna try to uh, what they say, steal your soul, man. Somebody trying to come out here, man, steal my soul. A ch ch chainsaw massacre kind of guy out here. I'm just going to disappear, man. Of course the Duchess knows I'm here, uh, Strawberry Fields, yes. So making my dinner. So my wife's going to feed me delicious some glorious deliciousness when i get home so i can't wait then my wife had a few things to do so I couldn't get the timing just right but now that, that i'm doing this now next time i come out here i know exactly where to go wow the bronx everyone the bronx Kind of wish I had a like an all-terrain fat tire bike. You could probably really get around easy on a fat tire bike in here. And uh, she knows I'm going to be. She knows I'm going to be hungry. She knows I'm going to be hungry when I get home. <sighs> wow, this is like incredible. It's like bird feeders all around here. Debbie, absolutely. Good to see you from Germany, Udo. Guten Tag. From Germany. I had a, a lovely German guy on my tour this morning. Had a great time. He enjoyed the information. First time in New York also. Ah, you know, besides doing my job in the morning, doing this for you guys, I, I am I am very lucky. I am very lucky to, to, to do what I do and you guys enjoy what I do. So I appreciate that, guys. Uh-oh, got another fork in the road here. Let's see, where am I going? Am I hanging the, am I hanging the, I'm gonna hang the left, and then I'm gonna go right. I'm gonna go right next to the golf course here. Blair Witch, yeah, no, Blair Witch freaked me out too, Timbo. But the main thing that Blair Witch did was I was incredibly dizzy after watching the Blair Witch Project. And thanks to the Blair Witch Project, I got about 10 minutes into Cloverfield and had to shut it off. <laughs> I like smooth shots. <laughs> Thank you so much, Mark. All right, who says you don't have to go to the Bronx? JJ out there in Cape May, welcome. Okay, now we're walking right next to the golf course here. We're, we're paralleling it. And we're gonna take this pathway all the way back and down. You can see the golf course right there. Never a dull moment. Absolutely not. Never a dull moment. Okay. Looks like we're going to make our way. Yeah, we're going to pop right out next to a, a landmark there. And then we'll be back on that amazing lawn. And then we're going to go behind here. So, oh, we got a great view of the mansion straight up ahead.
I did love the episode of South Park. Yeah, I was so startled. Yes, indeed. <laughs> I like all things South Park. All right. Oh, they're playing cricket out there. Oh, for you cricket players out there, uh, there's a cricket game going on just ahead of us. Wow, this is like, let me, let me just like, like set this scene for you guys. So we have this whole nice canopy here. And then we look out straight onto the Van Cortlandt mansion and just look at this view here. Off in the distance, we have the, uh, the cricket players. Look at that. I see, like, how can you, how can you think you're in New York when you're like in this kind of crazy ass setting? This is incredible. Look at that. This is New York. We're in the Bronx. Holy crap. That's so cool. Good to see you there, Dave, in, a ba in, a, in Bangor, Maine. Welcome. Wow. All right, let's get back out. Back out onto the, onto the walk here. Because now, ladies and gentlemen, it is time. It is time, ladies and gentlemen. So, the construction of Grand Central Station commences in the early 1900s, like 1905, 1903. And as they begin to dig the hole that today where all the, the train loading and offloading platforms are and whatnot, it's all underground. They gotta begin to be, begin to build a grand terminal at Grand Central Terminal. So what they did was they, they knew they were gonna make this thing out of stone but they didn't know what kind of stone they were going to use. So what they did was they, they asked various rock quarries to send them samples of different types of materials and stone to uh, use for the facade and the outside of the building. And what they did was for a year or two, they weather tested them here in Van Cortlandt Park. The, uh, roughly the right of way here in Van Cortlandt Park was for one of the uh, the rail lines that the that the train company uh, owned. Those stones can still be found here in Van Cortlandt Park, and that is what we're going to do today. I'm going to show you a bit of Grand Central Terminal here in Queen, here in here in the Bronx, here in Van Cortlandt Park. So they they have left the stones out here and they just i forgot which one they're gonna they, they ultimately picked but one of the one of the stones is the one they ultimately picked and uh yeah good to see everybody welcome to the show we're now on our way for the crescendo of uh, today's broadcast the Grand Central Stones here in Van Cortland Park. It's gonna be right on the other side of the park now from here. I was, Mark, isn't that crazy? So the stones were placed here in like 1905, 1904. And uh, that's where we're gonna go. I'm gonna go over to the other side. Of the park here. I would love to know how many trees are here in Van Cortlandt Park. No doubt a lot. And probably a lot of these trees predate the park, no doubt. Look how awesome that that Van Cortland house is all the way across over there. Wow. And they're playing cricket right there in the middle of the field, which is no doubt stupid hot right now because of the sun. Oh my God, uh, Natalie, yeah, the shade's amazing. The shade is amazing. It feels good. The sun is really strong today. So... Sun is really, really strong today, so I should have worn my suntan lotion. 
and tomorrow's gonna be warmer. Tomorrow's gonna be like 85 degrees. Tomorrow's gonna be definitely a little bit of summer in New York City. 70, there you go, JJ, 75,000 trees. Is that correct? That, that sounds correct. I could see 75,000 trees being planted here. Just an amazing, amazing view. And there, there, there's stuff at the top of that area over there. There's, there's a place I want to show you that's just over that cliff face over there that I'm going to have to do for another, another live stream because I don't feel like hiking up the cliff today. But that's a whole other place that I want to show you guys here in the Bronx. But now we are on our way to see the Grand Central Station, Grand Central Terminal, Stones. something else let's take a look at this i like how they're like playing cricket <laughs> in this massive field here this is something else Imagine you're in New York, the hidden gems of New York. Time to put the AC in the window. Yes, indeed, JJ. Yes, indeed. Let's move to the top over there. We're making our way. A great, great place for a rock concert. Yeah, Land Rover. I never thought of that. That's that's very true. Pamela, good to see you. Welcome. Amazing views, indeed. We had a really cool view of the city before. Now we're, we're making our way over to a little piece of Grand Central Terminal here in the Bronx. We're gonna go see the Grand Central Stones right now. Grand Central Stones coming up. Okay, we got the fork in the road here. Coming up to the fork in the road. I think I'm gonna be making the, the left, if I'm not mistaken. All right, let's see. I wanna go there. Let me just do this. They're right here. All right, ladies and gentlemen, it is time. It is time to see a little bit of Grand Central Station. I know, right, it feels like I've been transported to England, right? <laughs> All right. This is going to be cool. This is incredible coming out here. This is really amazing. All right. It looks like there's a pathway already to get in there. Let's see. Right here. Right here. Yep. Right here. Oh, here they are. Oh, shit. <laughs> oh, my God. There's even little steps to it. Beach bum, good to see ya. Ladies, oh my God, there's even steps to it. Oh my God, how cool is this? This is so freaking crazy. Oh, this is like totally exceeding my expectations right now. Here it is. Ladies and gentlemen, the Grand Central Stones. So this is all the test facade Holy shit. So here's a bit of, or actually here's some test pieces of what would have been Grand Central. And I don't know what, what which one was the winner, but one of these stones is the winner. Holy shit, this is cool. Good to see your photos from around New York. Yes, indeed, Van Cortlandt Park. We made it to the, to the uh, 
Grand Central Terminal stones here. So these are all basically the different marbles and the different the different stone they were going to use to create Grand Central Station. And one of these they ended up using. But this is all like the test, the test stones here. Right? History revealed, right? And literally, there is a live stream. I'm not going to tell you who, but there's a live stream. They literally walk right here. And I'm like, I'm looking at this live stream and I'm yelling at a two-year-old. I'm literally, I was yelling at a two-year-old live stream this morning because the guy walked right here and he didn't turn the camera this way to see this amazing bit of weird history here in, here in the Bronx. <laughs> this is so weird. Wow. It's incredible. Incredible bit of history here. Just hanging out. The Grand Central Stones. And I think I saw a plaque over there. So let's read the plaque. They, they, they did put a plaque up here in recent days or in recent years. So let's read that plaque. Wow. So these were placed here in like between like 1904 and 1905, right when they were designing the, the terminal. And uh, they were already in construction. They were clearing out the, 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 the platforms and they were beginning to literally dig a hole in the ground. And uh, they decided these were going to be the test facades here. And they've, they've been placed out here and never moved. They just left them here, which is incredible. I like how they got some of the, like they got a little bit of a ornamentation. You're more than welcome, Diana. Oh, this is so freaking weird. I love it. So the Grand Central Stones in Van Cortlandt Park are a surprising and important part of the history of Grand Central Terminal, one of the nation's most important buildings and a lesson in the built history of New York City. In November 1905, the New York Central Railroad placed a series of stone samples in, a con in, a open air, in the open air on the property of the railroad controlled within Van Cortlandt Park. The purpose was to assess the effects of a New York City winter on the samples of granite, limestone, marble that the railroad and its architects Reed and Stem Warren and Wetmore were considering for the exterior wall of the head house of the new Grand Central Terminal, then under construction in Manhattan. The Grand Central Terminal was constructed between 1903 and 1913 with the station head located uh, between 42nd and 43rd Streets and Vanderbilt Avenue and Depew Place astride Park Avenue. The structure is faced in Two stone in two stones, Indiana limestone in the upper portion and Stony Creek granite from Connecticut at the shop front level. Construction at the head house began in 1910. In 1905, when the stone samples were placed here in the park, the railroad had not yet settled on the many details of the head house, including design, including curtain walls and materials. Wow. And it, go it goes on and on and on. And we actually have, they have a breakdown here of all of the granite. So I'm going to slowly go through this. And if you guys want to watch on the replay, you can see which is which here. But good to see you, JP. Welcome. So all this stone from all across the country made its way to here. And I think this sign is like really new. It might've been placed here just a few years ago, but the Grand Central Stones, ladies and gentlemen, let's take another walk down and around them again, because this is just so freaking weird. <laughs> This is so freaking weird. 
it's such a cool bit of history too i have to say it's such a cool little bit of history that's just hanging out here in the bronx cb earth day you're more than welcome isn't that awesome jerry but this is why you guys subscribe to me so if you have subscribed to me have notifications on thank you so much if you're a member of the channel and have faith in me as a content creator thank you once again very very much and to everyone who has super chatted during this broadcast i'm glad you guys have enjoyed today's uh enjoying today's tour and yeah, talk about weird art this is weird history i know no they, you know what diana they actually have all held up pretty good i mean considering I mean, I know that from time... You know what? I, I do know that from time to time, they have power washed these. Because people are always, as you see, they're graffitiing on them. So I know they power washed these kind of often. I mean, we're just off of the bike. The bike lane is right here. So... Ooh, Croat the Raven, Nevermore, just flying in there, saying hello in the live stream. But I know they power wash these, so... But this is uh, just a pretty crazy, interesting piece of history. Just, just hanging out here in the Bronx. And this is the back side of them. Hit that like button, Ionel. Good to see you. Absolutely, JC. Tamara Britton, good to see you. Welcome on into the show. This is just incredible. This is just hanging out, hanging out right here. But you're more than welcome, JC. More than welcome, everybody who has tuned in from all around the world. We have made it to the Grand Central Stones. This is something I have been wanting to live stream for the longest, and I'm finally happy I'm here. So just Googled, uh, the which was selected was the second from the left, the Indiana Limestone. All right, so second from the left. Let's go over there again. Char Lynx, good to see you. Yeah, have they been restored? I don't think they've been restored, but I think they've they were uh, they've been power washed. That I do know. That I, that I do know. I know I do know they power wash these, but I don't think they've been restored per se. So second from the left. So let's go all the way down to the left here, and this is the one. That they ultimately ended up choosing. Oh yeah. And you can kind of see that. You can kind of see that on this side here. It's like Stonehenge, right? So this is the one they, they went with. Thank you so much for the information there, uh, Liz. Yeah, that's what I think we're going to go see next, Robin. I think we're going to follow the bike path a little bit. And see if we can see the old abandoned rail line. Yeah, this actually looks like I, I, I could I could recognize this. Wow, that is freaking cool. This is really something else just incredible and i'm telling you i watched the live stream this morning the guy freaking walked right here <laughs> he was literally on that pathway and i'm like just turn your head just turn your head and he never turns his head so here i'm going to give you a nice long look at it and now all the other live streamers will will be here in the coming weeks and now, now you know the rest of the story. That's right. M Mark, you're more than welcome. You guys are so kind. Thank you so much for... Thank you guys so much for indulging me with this kind of exploration. We'll be seeing these guys in the future. We'll be back here in Grand Cortland Park again. But 
But now, okay, let's see here. We're on the bike path. Let's see. I'm th I think I'm taking this all the way, right? Yeah, I'm going to take this all the way down. I'm going to take this all the way down to Van Cortlandt Park South. So let's do it. Now, it's amazing how Frost has, hasn't done that much damage now. Come on and welcome Liz. Uh, thank you so much, Liz. Look at it. They're right here. I don't know how you can walk past this and not want to like take a look at this. They're like right there. A lot of squirrels, little birds. Timbo, absolutely. Yes, I am, Nibble. Yes, I am. <laughs> Oh yeah, Liz. Me too. I love music and uh, history also. History and music, some of the finer things in life. Oh wow, look at this. So we're walking the John Kiernan Trail and we have here a little outlook here on the water. Yeah, perhaps, maybe, Timbo. <laughs> Look at this. The Bronx, everybody. Look at the big bad Bronx. People sitting down at some benches over there. Wow. Oh, this is like the, this is the golf course right over there. Wow. Yeah, Andrew Carnegie Railroad history is fascinating. Isn't this amazing? The views here are just insane. I mean, again, it's hard to imagine that the city is literally surrounding us here. Just reorientating some of my wires here because I don't need, I don't need two charging ports at the moment. Oh, we got a turtle here. I know, this is New York City. This is New York City, people. This is New York City. We got a little Bronx turtle here. There he is. No doubt alive during the birth of hip hop in this lovely borough of the Bronx. A Bronx turtle hanging out right here. Bronx turtle people. Bronx turtle people. <laughs> sunshine after the rain good to see you welcome on into the show walking the john kiernan trail we just saw the crescendo of today's broadcast uh, i wanted to show you guys the grand central stones i'm now beginning to make my way to the southern portion of the park and i'm gonna try to look for this rail head here But we are in the third largest park in all of New York City, Van Cortlandt Park. It's amazing how peaceful it is. Oh, they're fishing. Holy crap, they're fishing. Wow. That's awesome. I didn't know you could go fishing here. Wow. You know, Zambrano, I don't know. I don't think there are any waterfalls here. I'm pretty sure all the waterfalls are in the are along the uh, the Bronx River. I 
some great little trails around here. I tell you what. Okay, let's see where the hell I am here. Oh yeah, we're just gonna keep on going straight. Oh, maybe I spoke too soon. I hear something that sounds like a waterfall. Robin, I'm telling you. Oh, look at this. Whoa. I, you know, this is officially turning into like a Mr. Rogers episode. Oh, really? They're really doing this right now? This is so freaking awesome. Guys, look at this. Wow. Like a little lagoon here. And we got a guy here with a with a model speedboat. Whoa. Look at this. Look at this boat. Wow, it's so freaking cool. <laughs> He's showing off. <laughs> yeah. Yo, this is so cool. Yeah. <laughs> wow. The Bronx, everybody. The freaking Bronx. Ooh, he's doing like. Doing like. Wow. Wow. So much fun. I mean, this is, I can't get over how beautiful it is over here. This is like incredible. This is completely blowing my mind right now. How like really calm and chill it is in here. Unbelievable. Wow. I feel like I'm like a million miles away from the city. Quickly becoming one of your favorite streams. <laughs> wow, you used to rent canoes? You can rent canoes in this lake? What? That's cool. All right, where the hell am I going now? Oh, I think this might be the, the, the rail head here. I think we're at the head of the rail line here. Let's see here. I think we're at the abandoned, abandoned uh, course here. Yeah, we, we walk straight down this. We could walk straight down this right here. Yeah, the Bronx Zoo has a waterfall. We've actually seen the waterfalls in the New York Botanical Garden and in uh, Bronx River Park. Or is it called? Yeah, it's a Bronx River Park. We saw the, we saw the waterfall there. All right, I think this is the old rail. So we're kind of like in the middle, in, we're like in the middle of the borough, but like near like we're near Westchester. So um, the Bronx Zoo is kind of far away from here and, uh, and uh, Yankee Stadium is a little bit further away. And now we're walking down the old abandoned train line here. Yeah, that's right, Donalyn, right? How funny is that? Yeah, look at this. This is the old train line here. This is the old bridge. Wow. This is so freaking cool. It's amazing how, like, nature reclaims this stuff. It's really something else how nature just reclaims it. Wow, this is something else, boy. This is cool. I mean, just, this is just, it goes on and on and on. I know we're gonna come to like an abrupt end to this, but this is pretty amazing.
Yeah, are we, am I on the old Putnam Trail, right? That's what I'm on right now. The old Putnam Trail. Just that view right there is just, wow. I'm on it. Awesome. Thanks so much for the info. I'm happy we got some people who are uh, fans of the Bronx. Pretty cool. Good to see you, Blondie. Happy Thursday. Happy Thursday. No, Roos Jones, no. I actually looked up a lot whether anyone live streamed out here. And they, there are a couple of live streams out here in Van Cortland Park, but none of them showed the stones. And I think the stones are the most exciting part of this. And uh, yeah, but one live stream, like literally like the, like the guy walked right past it and didn't even turn the camera over. What do we got here? We got like a dead end here? Uh-oh. What do we got cooking here? Oh, getting, we're getting, what the hell? All right. I think this is where the, the road dead ends, people. Let's see. Let's see, where the hell am I? Does the road just dead end? It's supposed to keep going on. But unfortunately, the road just dead ends. So I'm going to turn around and we're going to go back and then we're going to. Ah. And just dead ends. So we're just going to turn around here. And when we can make the first two lefts, that's what we're going to do. modern day map in this live stream because I'm using uh, Google Maps here and so it's helping me and I can honestly say this is the first time that I've ever done one of these little little walks here one of these little tours without really exactly knowing where I'm gonna go oh had a little bit of a blip had a little bit of a blooper there and the signal Looks like it's gonna drop out again. There we go. Signal a little bit, signal a little bit spotty here as I make my way back. There we go. Signal a little bit weird here as we make our way back. So might need to hit that live button again, refresh the stream. Looks like we're getting into a little bit of better signal coverage here. As I walk back out of the old Putnam Trail here, gotta go underneath this little train bridge here. Good to see you, Ange. Everybody follow yo, Ange. A great live streamer from the Upper West Side. Follow Ange and Joe and their coffee field adventures around the city and beyond. 
Cortland Park. A little bit of Grand Central Station right here in Van Cortland Park. Now I'm just making my way to the southern end of the park. Making my way because that's where I gotta go. Uh, let's see, I could go right here through the station. Yeah, I gotta follow the bikes. <laughs> Now we're gonna go underneath the little train track here. I'm gonna make the left. Wow, what a glorious day here in the Bronx. This has certainly been an adventure today. The Empire State Trail. This is where we're at. Let's see if we keep on going this way we see all this cool stuff let's do it Can never navigate. No, you can't. No, if you're too stoned. But see, you know, John Lord, that's one of my favorite things. I'm going to be very candid. And one of my more favorable things I like to do is uh, get really stoned and stare at a map. <laughs> so, <laughs> I love getting stoned and staring at a map. It's a lovely thing. All right. <laughs> I think that squirrel had an edible. Squirrel have an edible. A squirrel looks stoned. A stunning day, Dan. A stunning day. A stunning day. Oh yeah, that's one of my favorites too, John. All you need is a good, you know, a good hit of the, uh, a good, a good hit of wacky tobacco and a, and a ride on the cyclone and set you straight. Suriname, good to see you. So now I'm walking so far south, I don't have to get the. Uh, the set, the, the one number one train's missing a skipping the last stop, so I'm actually walking to the next station now. Wow! So we were just just back over here. Let's see, get an update here. Where the hell I am? Oh, there's a pickleball court here. There's a lot going on here in, in Van Cortland Park. Got to spend a lot more time in Coney this year. That's always a good thing. I live in Coney, so I recommend it. Another cricket game going on up there. A lot of cricket games here in here in Van Cortland Park. I tell you, this must be a. It's kind of funny and ironic that I've only ridden a bike outside of Van Cortland Park. Never rode a bike through Van Cortland Park. Now I really want to ride a bike through here. 
Yeah, cricket sounds so proper. And I got a proper, there are a lot of cricket games out here. They're playing baseball out here. And, oh man. A lot going on in here. Oh yeah, am I walking really further away from the cake? All right, I, I guess I'll have to walk back to the cake. <laughs> Gotta get some carrot cake for the wife. <laughs> right, Mr. Squirrel? All right. The squirrel says I gotta get more cake. So I think I'm gonna have to go, go around and we'll walk down the uh, Broadway a little bit. Because this is the southern end of Van Cortlandt Park. We have made it back to reality. I tell you, this park is big. It has a very interesting shape. And I'm gonna have to walk back up to get some carrot cake. Then again, the subway's right here. I could hop on the train and make my long two hour trip home. Let me make sure this, this uh, 410, let me make sure this carrot cake place is still open. Lloyd's Carrot Cake. Okay, they, oh, they're very busy right now, but they close at seven o'clock. So we got time. So just for you guys, we're gonna walk back to Lloyd's Carrot Cake and we'll end at the carrot cake place so I can bring some carrot cake home to the wife. Yeah, I gotta, I gotta get some, uh... no, I gotta get carrot cake. Let's just look at life here in Van Cortlandt Park. Let's walk a little, let's walk along a little bit Broadway, a little bit of Broadway here. And then I could just take the, uh, what's again, the BX2 or the BX9 bus, doesn't matter. There's a skate park here and Yeah, I need to get cake. I just saw a picture of the store's awning and uh, I'll show it to you guys. So look at this, guys. Come on, if it, if it will just load. The awning of the store is like super old school. Look at that. That's how you know it's good. It has a super old school awning. So let's, let's get up there and and check that out and that's where i'm going to end the live stream yeah exactly open till seven but get your slices now so i'm gonna get a couple of slices of carrot cake for me and my wife and bring home some carrot cake the delicacies of the bronx right, so now let's walk along we're gonna be walking along this is broadway everybody this is broadway this is the very northern end of the one train right here and now we're just gonna walk up this little this little slog right here nice little skate park here beautiful fields I mean this park is amazing this park is really something else See that now I'm like craving carrot cake. Good to see you, Bagels and Walks. Everybody follow Bagels and Walks. Great live streamer from the Upper East Side. Good to see you, Sean. Yeah, just had a might my, my had a refresh. We had a weird signal in the park for a little bit there, Ange. But you should should have me back. <clears throat> Today we uh, visited the Van Cortland Park Stones, the, the, the Grand Central Stones. Carrot cake is a health food. Do buses take Apple Pay? Yes, they do. But you have to link Apple Pay with like an Omni. There's like an Omni like thing for the phone. 
but yes, they do. But I would consider carrot cake a health food. Yes, I would. Yeah. Lloyd's does ship uh, nationwide. Wow. This is something else. I tell you, the Bronx, New York City really has something to offer for everybody. I mean, Manhattan may not be everyone's cup of tea or a piece of carrot cake, but I mean, you can find anything you really want in any of the other boroughs. Two hundred and forty second Street, ladies and gentlemen, and Broadway going north. Oh, no special app. You just need to the, the, connect it with your phone. There you go. Just connect it with your phone, and you're good to go. I know. Eventually, we're going to get an Omni, an Omni app. Oh, this is where we started the uh, broadcast. Was right down there, in the uh, barbecue pits. And look at this, the Beeline bus system that takes you up to Westchester right here. This is the Beeline bus. And normally this will be the train station that you'll be getting off at, but 242nd Street currently uh, going under a bit of, of construction here, monthly track maintenance. So. That's how you know you're far uptown. You got the Beeline bus that takes you up to Westchester. Wow. This is something else, guys. This is something else. Oh, I guess, I guess the subway might be open because I see people coming off and on the train from up there. Uh, Mary, good to see you. By the way, Mary, I want to thank you for your PayPal donation yesterday. Much appreciated. But I think it might have cream cheese frosting on it. I'm going to eventually, I'm going to find out. But if they have some kind of frosting on it, I'm definitely going to get a piece with frosting on it. Wow, that's a, uh, that's a popular bus. Alibaba, good to see ya. Gonna make our way up to Lloyd's Carrot Cake. That's gonna be my final destination for the afternoon. A quick two hour live stream. Next time we're up in this area of the Bronx, we're gonna go to the top of that cliff over there. And I'm gonna show you another really cool neighborhood. You're more than welcome, you're more than welcome Mary. I'm glad you enjoyed the live streams. And I really do appreciate the PayPal donation yesterday. It's very kind of you. You guys are being very kind when it comes to PayPal donations and super chats and likes on the videos. If we could get 300 likes on this video, it'd be much appreciated. So if you're watching on the replay, hit the thumbs up. Wait until the pool opens up. Yeah, right. <laughs> yeah, the pool is right down over there. And I have, the last time I came up here, I went to a museum not that's not that far from here. And I went to the Santa Fe Grill. Me and my wife went to the Santa Fe Grill for dinner. And it was delicious. So I highly recommend the Santa Fe Grill when wandering up to Van Cortlandt Park. E-bike Mike, good to see you. It is frosted, hells yeah. Get in my belly. <laughs> Hells yeah. Wow, they got like little, little uh, graves here, I think. Wow, it's like a memorial over here amongst the trees. But if you're just tuning in, check out the replay because 
we saw a little bit of Grand Central Station right here in the Bronx. We also went up to uh, two scenic rock outcroppings. One of them had this ridiculous view of Manhattan. So if you're just tuning in, check that out. This is a very entertaining live stream, I have to say today. Very fast paced because we're approaching the two hour mark and yeah. There's some rabid internal monument in the vicinity. I don't know, uh, Zeklok Slav. I don't know about a uh, turtle and rabbit. I mean, I did see a signage for a turtle and rabbit, so maybe uh, it was at the top of one of these hills over here. Got to have to do some more research into that. But we did see a turtle and rabbit signage with an arrow on it. So that might be what you were talking about. But I didn't see anything, or, or nor have I read or seen anything on the internet about it, but I may have to come back. I think I will come back. I mean, it's too, this is too cool not to show. I mean, look how crazy this looks. This is incredible. It's incredible that this is New York City. We're in the Bronx. Just about another two minute walk here. Almost there. Good to see you, Rick Fisher. Welcome. Uh, Soren on a, Soren on some of the similar streams. Oh, okay. Well, I'm happy they showed that. That sounds interesting. Oh, we were up there. I could see the rock outcropping we were at from here. Look at this. We were way up there, guys. We were right up there we were right up there on that rock we were right up there before oh is the turtle and is the turtle and uh rabbit monument just across from lloyd's well here's lloyd's right here but now where is the turtle where's this monument you're talking about is it right here let's see this is something else over here. He was remiss providing info. <laughs> oh yeah, there it is. Yeah. I guess this is where we'll get ended. Right here next to the turtle and the and the rabbit. I love just wandering up upon this kind of stuff. <laughs> Oh yeah, there's Lloyd's. So we got the carrot cake and I'm happy there's a gourmet deli next door so I can get something to drink. And here it is. Oh, I'm so happy I'm getting the carrot cake now because I get to show this cool thing. Look at this. Hello. Van Cortland, uh, this is the cross country course. Wow. Does it get more Bronx than this? I have to say, as everything in life, everyone, slow and steady always wins the race. The As As Slopes Bench, I guess this is called. The tortoise and the hare. And there's a place, the tortoise and the hare restaurant. And look at that, there's Lloyd's. Oh my God, does Lloyd's really have a line out the door? That must be some damn good carrot cake that there is a line out the door. Made from scratch, holy crap. I'm gonna have to get some Lloyd's. Wow. Unbelievable. Ladies and gentlemen, what a crazy, crazy world we live in. What a crazy live stream today has been. I'm going to sit down here on the bench. Oh, ladies and gentlemen, you're more than welcome for a fun live stream. 
If it's your first time watching, make sure to subscribe to the Dutch Maz Family Networks here on YouTube and on Instagram, all same name at Dutch Maz. Make sure you click the notification bell because I never know when I'm gonna go live next. I think our next live stream is gonna be on Saturday. Maybe tomorrow, but most likely on Saturday, we'll be back at it again, experiencing the greatest show in the world, New York City. And if you're just tuning in late, make sure you watch the replay. We saw some amazing stuff here in Van Cortlandt Park. It has been nothing short of an immense pleasure for me to show you guys this amazing place here, here in the Bronx, New York. So thank you so much for everyone who's joined me and uh, all this, for all the super chats, especially Phyllis. Phyllis, thank you so much for your extremely generous super chat. And everyone else with all your generous super chats, thank you so much. For everyone who hit the like button, thank you so much. Hit every, for everyone who hit the like button. All the channel members, thank you so much for uh, having faith in me as a content creator. And thank you for watching from Van Cortlandt Park here in the Bronx. It's Dutch Maz signing off. Have a fantastic Bronx day, whether you live here or not. I want you to hug your loved ones, cherish your moments, and good afternoon, good evening, and good night, Mrs. Calabash, wherever you are. I will enjoy my carrot cake, Gary. Have a great evening, guys. I'll see you soon. Bye-bye. Bye, guys.